Hello everyone and welcome back to the Forgotten City in the last session. We grabbed ourselves some of this medicine over here, broke the golden rule, caused everyone to die but then travelled back to the start of the loop and used the stolen medicine from this loop to save this lady's life over here. Turns out she didn't want to be but uh, <laughs> it was an interesting look at how you can, how you can use the time loop to influence future loops differently. And uh, then we got to know all the people in this little marketplace here. And today we have a lot of options. We have a lot of options on where we can go. Let's bring up our leads. So, <laughs> so, yeah, we've got a lot. I think this was the, this was the first one I wanted to look at. Uh, Ulpius is suicidal. I'll need him alive if I want to learn what he knows. And he is currently all the way up there. Getting ready to uh, take a header off the top. This door's locked. Interesting. Interesting. I'm sure there'll be a way in there at some point. Okay, so the question then becomes, how do we get up there? And the answer is, I have absolutely no idea. Shall we... Uh, shall we just go on and explore? Oh, I don't know. Or should we chat to Mr. Push-Ups here? Maliolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment, it being election day. Do we reckon this is the, the brute dude that people are scared of? What's your story? Her name's Domitius. It is him, okay. If you want to get to Maliolus, you go through me. Uh, I'd like to meet him. Too bad. He's busy. Unless... No. You don't look like you could afford it. Afford what? I'm glad you asked. See, he's a busy man, and this is an important day. He'll be inside practicing his victory speech for tonight. Left me strict instructions he doesn't want to be disturbed. So if you want to see him, I'll need something valuable in return. What do you want? Dunno. Something good. Isn't soliciting bribes a sin? Bribe? That's such an ugly word. What I'm looking for is more of a, a tribute to me, your soon-to-be patron. I'll see what I can do. Just make it good. Uh, about that tribute you wanted. Yeah? What have you got for me? Okay, no. Just make it good. I thought maybe I'd already picked up something he wants. Um, do you know a way out of here? When Maliolus wins the election, yeah? This place will change. You won't even want to leave. You'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, what do you think about the Golden Rule? I think it's gone on long enough. And Maliolus is going to put an end to it <laughs> what? once he's elected. How? Uh, how's he going to do that? He's going to announce it in his victory speech. Just you wait and see. Why can't you tell me now? Because if I tell you, and it gets that... It'll give old man Sentius a chance to interfere in our plans. And we can't have that. Can I help in some way? We've already lined up the votes he needs to win. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. Okay, so obviously he's voting for Maliolus. Maliolus, of course. If old man Sentius can't even protect his own daughter, how can we trust him to protect us? That is very unfortunate for him that she uh, disappeared. Well, Whatever. I'll be off. Just remember, I'll be watching. Alrighty. Can I go in here? Nope, that's locked. Hello. These might be climbable if only they could support my weight. Huh. How would we make them climbable? Hmm. Where are these? Because, like, these should be leading me to that, right? Not sure. Hmm. Is this locked as well? No, this we can go into. Okay. Let's just ignore the main quest for now. Let's, let's, uh, let's continue just exploring the city and getting to know the people. And, uh... 
Oh yeah, the priestess. And uh, once we've once we've got to know everyone, we'll have more of a picture of what what we want to focus on, and we'll also know the town better for exploration, etc. All right. So, hello. A new face, Ave, and may Vesta watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? What's your story? Oh my. I take it people are quite direct where you're from. I suppose it's quite charming in its own way. Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? Sorry, what should I have done? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office, by which time you would already know how to address me. And then you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate that is. So, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. Thank God. <laughs> How did you end up here? You know, I'm not entirely sure. But what about you? How did you end up here? A young woman named Karen dragged me out of a river unconscious and sent me in here. Karen, you say? And nothing about that name seemed odd to you? Uh, it carries negative connotations. Why is that? <laughs> She's not going to know what that is, because of the memes. The memes? What are the memes? <laughs> They've become a bit like their own language. Yes, they have. So, a bit like Egyptian hieroglyphs, then? Something like that. So your people make hieroglyphics depicting this accursed character. The one they call Karen. Hmm. I wonder if... <laughs> No. What were you going to say? I apologise. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that you've got me thinking. Have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? Yes, and it I sounds really very similar. Go around and ask them what they remember and see if you notice any patterns. Yes, I have already noticed that the pattern. Which is that everyone fell in the river and then got dragged out. And it's it's worryingly similar to what happened to me. So, you know, like, I feel like maybe everyone has been through what I've been through and then they all end up here at the end, or I don't know, I don't know. You're being a bit coy. I know, I know. I just don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you, too. Uh, what happened to Livia? Up until a few weeks ago, she was a perfectly productive member of our little community, darning clothes and cutting hair. She was always so chatty, always seeking out newcomers and asking them where they were from and how they wound up here. And then, about a month ago, she suddenly changed. She withdrew, stopped working and became despondent, started muttering to herself. Galerius and I visited her to see how we could help. But she just looked at us with this haunted stare called us bloodless shadows and told us we were ignorant of some pattern. Look, it could be unrelated. Perhaps she simply fell ill. Or, as Galerius suggested, the weight of the golden rule was too much for her. But there is a small chance that she learned something, saw a pattern nobody else saw, and that it broke her. I just don't want to see that happen to you. So be careful, will you? Uh, I may have already noticed a pattern. You have? Then what is it? Uh, some people mentioned a river. Yes. I understand many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? They mentioned memory lapses. That's true. I know I wasn't entirely sure how I wound up here. What else? And a coin. Yes. I suppose that could be something. But then most of us do tend to carry coins on our person, don't we? It's as I feared. I think I understand what poor Livia has been going through. You mentioned earlier 
You met a young woman in the forest named Karen, yes? Indeed. I see. And was this Karen by any chance wearing a hood? She was wearing a hoodie. Because I've seen her before. There's something I think you should see. I think you'd better follow me to the baths. Okay. But don't follow too closely. We can't have people thinking we're bathing together. <laughs> Is it going to be like, that was the River Styx? Actually, wait, was it the River Styx? I can't remember. Hang on, what was point of origin? Where was, is, wait, is the ones we've already completed at the bottom or no? Oh no, complete, here we go. I was pulled out of a river. It doesn't say. Hmm. I'm, f I'm feeling like that's the river sticks, and that was the boatman that we have to pay a coin to to pass through the river. So this is some kind of like afterlife thing rather than a time loop? arrived in the baths. A real nasty sort, with his face all covered up, and he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule. Uh... Do, do, do. I'll see what I can do. I'll get right on it. How I don't have a weapon? None of us do. The magistrate made us throw them all into the chasm. So now this man's bow is the only one in the city. You'll just have to improvise. How is this my problem? Are you daft or just callous? If you don't stop him, we're all going to die. <laughs> I'll get right on it. Thank you. He's still in there somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. Uh, maybe we shouldn't meet in there? What? We don't have time for this. I have to go. <laughs> I do know why I said that. It's because the voice said no. <sighs> the shrine is collapsing. Well, that is very unfortunate. She had a loaf of bread on her. Cheers. Um... Papi, no! <laughs> oh, no. She's that dead. was the worst no ever. Did anyone see that? The whole shrine just collapsed on her. Oh, Fabia, why did you have to go in there? Well, don't worry, we can oh, save her. Sweet girl. We can save her on a future loop. I can't believe she is dead. Fabia, I mean. She walked into that empty shrine, and the next moment she is lying dead under a pile of rubble. The gods are cruel and unjust. She was like a daughter to me. I'm sorry, friend. It's not right for me to lay my burden upon you. Anything else you want to say? I can't believe she is dead. No. <laughs> okay. Fabia, the gods are... Right, let's see about this dude then. Hello. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? Uh, never heard of him, mate. I'm not sure I believe that, so allow me to explain something to you. 
I am here with orders from Emperor Nero himself to find and execute the cultist Quintius for terrible crimes against the Empire. So, if you tell me the truth, I will allow you to live. But if you lie to me, or otherwise obstruct the Emperor's business in any way, I will put this arrow through your chest. Is that understood? Got it. Thank you. Now tell me, who are you people, and what is this place? Uh, we're a small community of strangers who wound up here by accident. A small community. <laughs> I was told Quinctius was a cultist, but I never thought he'd be foolish enough to lead me right to the heart of his mystery cult. Uh, what's a mystery cult? Oh, don't play coy with me. I don't care if you're worshipping Bacchus, Magna Mata, or Christ. You lot are all the same to me. Always sneaking off to your secret sanctuaries, indoctrinating each other with your little mantras. The Emperor may have tolerated your activities up until now, but after what Quinctius did, those days are numbered. You've got the wrong idea. We're not cultists. You say that, but if you're not a cult, then why go to such great lengths to keep this place a secret? Uh... Wait, actually, yeah. How did he get in, and how's he planning on leaving? Uh... Hmm. Which one? Which one? We're not keeping it a secret. We're all trapped in here. So you admit you're not allowed to leave? Uh, we physically can't leave. There's no way out. Threatening me is not going to help you. But in any case, that sounds an awful lot like a cult to me. And I saw the inscription saying, The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I take it this is some kind of mantra you all believe? Uh... It's not a mantra, it's a warning. Ugh. A distinction without a difference. You've clearly been indoctrinated into this nonsense. Now tell me, where did you lot get enough gold to make all these statues? They were once people who were turned to gold as punishment. He's not going to believe that. You lot are practicing human sacrifice too. You people disgust me. Uh... You're distorting what I said. Yes, yes, because I'm the real villain here. It's all clear to me now. The secret sanctuary, the indoctrination, the mantra, the human sacrifice. You're cultists, there's no doubt in my mind. What baffles me is how a person can believe in something with such zeal. They just can't see what they've become. However, you still have a chance to redeem yourself by telling me where Quintius is. Do not waste it. What can you tell me about him? Very well. Here's what I know. He's a 40 to 50 year old man with distinctive eyes, one green and one blue. He's also known to have delusions of grandeur. The Emperor says he and his cult, your cult, are responsible for starting the fire which burnt half of Rome to the ground and killed thousands in the process. Interesting. Uh, how do you know he set fire to Rome? That hardly means he did it. Perhaps the Emperor was looking for a scapegoat. Right, because wasn't it his fault or something? I can't remember. Vague, vague history. Who are you to challenge what the Emperor says? Were you there? Do you have spies and scouts all over Rome like he does? No, you do not. This is your last chance. Are you going to tell me where he is or not? Uh, I have no idea who or where he is. <sighs> then you're of no use to me. Do you have any last words? Uh... <laughs> I think we're going to get killed here no matter what I say. But I guess we try for that. And there's a simple explanation for that. I lied. But if you want to know the truth before you die, here it is. Once I'm done with you and Quintius, I intend to kill every last one of you wretched degenerates. 
and I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Time to get out of here. I don't know if this path is going to lead where I wanted to. Seems like it might be. Aha, yeah. Mate! Oh. Okay, so... How do we stop that from happening? Also, we haven't met anyone that have that has different coloured eyes yet, I don't think, but I wouldn't be surprised if Quinctius is Maliolus. Uh Salve friend. I'm Galerius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I need you to take care of some things urgently. Oh. Sounds serious. I'm listening. Yulia's dying, but Lucretia can't help her without this sylphium. Take some of it and go quickly. Yulia? Oh no. Alright, I can do that. Go as fast as you can. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Okay, that's cool. So once you do something yourself, then you can get him to do it, so that you don't have to repeat the same tasks every day. That's actually really smart. That is really mm -hmm. smart design, because one, mm -hmm. one of the issues with time loop mm -hmm. games is that, like, when there's a specific path that you have to follow to get the best outcome, and you're, like, quite far down that path, and trying to do... Ixian turns. Trying to do, like, the end game stuff, but you're having to repeat the start of the game stuff every time, then it gets really repetitive and boring. So, if this game lets you just, like, do it once, and then tell that guy to do it for you, then that's just, like, a really smart way of solving that issue. Hello, Livia. We haven't spoken to you properly, have we? Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. So she's the one that's figured out that we're all dead, I think. I think we're all dead. What's your story? The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. I have no idea what that means, except I kind of do. They never do. Do you know a way out? There is only a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. Do you need help? Help me? You cannot help me. I have seen things. A pattern, a terrible pattern. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no more. Figure out why she's acting strangely. <laughs> What do you think about the Golden Rule? The bloodless shadows. This is their punishment. Right. Can you tell me about the pattern you saw? You think you wish to know, but you do not. It is better for you if you remain ig- Okay, she said that before. Well, I'm the off then. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. Good chat. Okay, so this is the less well-off bit of town. Looks like someone's been hard at work on a prototype zipline. Ah, is this the, uh... Yeah, this is Galerius' place. Seven denarius, I could steal it. Or a poem by Galerius. A love poem to an unspecified woman. My life has been torturous as the seven labours of Hercules. Orphaned, defeated and enslaved, yet I would suffer it all again gladly. Because each loss, wound, and tragedy brought me to you. Radiant as Rome's sacred flame, your bright warmth nourishes my soul. 
I know I can never touch you any more than hold Vesta's flame, but to watch and love you from afar, bathing in your glow, is enough. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder who that's about. Uh, obviously, if we, we can take the money, it would end this loop, but then we'd start the next loop with seven cash. I guess you can make infinite money over time. Because, like, every time you restart the loop, his chest is going to have seven denarius in it. And you can take it and give yourself another seven to add on to your previous seven. And then start the loop again and take another seven, etc. So you you can make infinite money like that? I don't know. Uh, don't know. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone that always returns. Sisyphus is the one that pushed the boulder up the hill forever, right? Um, yeah, I don't know how much money we'll need in this game, or if we'll need any at all, but that is so definitely something to keep in mind. A small wooden model of an arena, possibly Verona Arena, which was completed in the first century and is still in use today. Doo -doo. You, Sisyphus, Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold graying. Livia! Would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades. Is, is Aurelia lives. the bitch? Is she the one that fucked Ignorant. over the woman that tried to kill herself? This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Let the buyer beware. I can't... Was she the terrible one? I think she was, right? Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia, and uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I was intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. Ah... Uh. I don't know whether to play along or not, because if I say don't waste your breath, I know you're a horrible person, she's going to tell me to fuck off, and then we won't be able to, like, hear her story or anything. So, like, I do want to say that, because she is a horrible person, but I also want to know, like, what she's about. So, let's go with you're as charming as you are beautiful. Ugh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? <laughs> you came on to me. I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. Well, we've got to play Let's it cooler. Let's just that ever happened, <laughs> so we can at least do business. So, what brings you to my tavern? What's your story? Ugh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. Okay. Do you know a way out of here? You know, normally, I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. <laughs> Uh, I was asking about an escape from the city. I guess that went right over your head. Never mind. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do know a way out. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? Is it worth, say... A thousand denarii to you? Uh, if you have a way out, why haven't you used it yourself? Simple. It's a one-way trip, and I'm not ready to go just yet. I like my life here. One day, maybe, but not now. Tell me more about what I'd be buying. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you... You'll never have to spend another hour in this city ever again. Isn't it kind of unethical to keep all these people trapped in here knowing there's a way out? I think of it this way. I have something of value, and I'm willing to share it for a price. That's not unethical. That's just good business. Now, do you want it or not? Again, I, I don't want to say it's a scam because I want to keep going with her dialogue and I don't want her to just cut me off completely so we'll do that another time. Well perhaps you could take out a loan I understand Maliolus has lent money to others on occasion What do you think about the golden rule? 
I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As the saying goes, to drink is human, so we drink. Heard any interesting gossip? Certainly. For ten dinari. Oh, I don't have it. But we can get that. How embarrassing for you. <laughs> well, I'll be off. All right. See ya. Okay, so... New plan. We do steal that. Uh, dice tower. A metal dice tower designed to stop people from cheating when rolling dice. Clearly cheating must be a problem among Romans. Huh. So you just like drop it in there and it rolls out the front and then you can't tamper with it, I guess? Uh, the only way out is. Whoever wrote this was interrupted, perhaps tragically. Hmm. So yeah, we will steal Glyrus's cash and then, I guess, steal it again. So that we have the ten to hear her gossip. <laughs> Theophilus had an orgy with four girls and disappointed all of them equally. <laughs> Rip that dude. Oh man, where does this go? Secret tunnels, eh? Oh, hello! 154? Don't mind if I do. Fletched arrows, a bottle of wine, possibly the last bottle of wine in the city. Oh man, well we can go and get this every time. That's 100 denarius a time. That's great. Over 100 denarius a time. Oh, interesting. That takes us out down here. Okay, okay. Man, I, I do want to just explore. Is that another... Yeah, there's something we can get over there. I assume I can swim? Okay, before we explore this, let's get her gossip. Now that we've got the cash. Well, I guess we don't need to steal uh, Galerius's seven. When we can get 150 here every time. And just keep stacking that up over different playthroughs. Uh, oh man, I just want to explore everywhere, but no, let's let's get the gossip first. Let's get the gossip while we remember it. Wait, no, this way, right? Yeah. Sup. I love your clothes. So exotic. Back again. Couldn't stay away, huh? Uh, gossip. Certainly. Ten denari. Ten dena Here's ten denari. Have you met Livia? She used to do my hair until one day she just snapped. This place has that effect on people. Now she just stands around caked in filth muttering nonsense to herself. It's a real shame. Now I have to do my own hair. Here's another ten. I hear that if Maliolus is elected, he's gonna throw a small festival to celebrate with entertainment and everything. Can't wait to find out what it is. I wonder if it's going to be like a suicide party. <laughs> like he kills everyone. Uh, here's another ten. There used to be a midwife here, Naivia. But this place drove her mad as a menad. Said she could hear the statues whispering to her. Can you imagine? Fortunately for us, she locked herself in the palace weeks ago and hasn't been seen since. Good riddance, I say. Centilla, the magistrate's youngest daughter, went missing a few weeks ago, right out from under Daddy's nose. How can we trust him to govern a city if he can't even protect his own daughter? I heard Dacius has been offering a lot of money for a bow. Of course, Centius banned all weapons in the city, so I can't help but wonder what he's up to. Hmm. I wonder if we can get that bow off the assassin then and then sell it to Decius. Have you seen the way Rufius walks around staring at all the statues? He says he's afraid they're going to spring to life. But then, why does he have a collection of them in his room? Oh, that sounds interesting. I hear Galerius has a thing for Equitia. But ah. of course, she's a festal priestess. If she sleeps with him, the magistrate will have to bury her alive. Why do silly boys always want what they can't have? 
Sad times to be him. I hear there are blasphemous cultists walking among us. You know, the ones that lit the fires last year? Some even say they have a secret shrine around here somewhere. Interesting. I've already told you everything I know, I'm afraid. Okay, cool. Uh, which one was uh, the one that I can insult her? You know, no. Straight to business. As a matter of, I'm happy to tell you all about. So. Ah, here we here we go. I know it's a scam. Ha! It's hardly my fault if people misunderstand the terms of a deal. I mean, it does say, "Let the buyer beware," right outside my tavern. Okay, she didn't uh, didn't get mad at me about that. All right, see ya. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Well, Ixian let's turns. Let's head back to the baths and see if we can do anything differently with the assassin. Because I do feel like I could get the uh, the bow off of him. I haven't looked around here. What's back this way? Oh, this is where I ended up the first time. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeet myself down that zip line. Oh my god, that is a bad day. That is a very unfortunate day for this man. Oof. Step in the fire. Don't want to do that. I'm guessing eating bread would restore our health, right? Probably. Is this where I just was? This is... Yeah, this is that place, right? We didn't actually go upstairs there. We probably should. But maybe next time. down here. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. We've looped. We've looped. Okay, well then, you know what? Let's let's look upstairs here, see if there's anything. Vote for Malleolus for a free drink at my tavern. You stay away from my money. <laughs> a large vat for brewing beer. There's a layer of small insects drowning on the surface. Ugh. That's grim. Aurelia's chest is locked. A sculpture of Minerva, the Roman goddess of strategy. Get in any chests or anything? Key to Aurelia's chest, aha! So if we steal it, it's going to end the loop, but then we can open our chest next time. Let's do that. Well, let's just see, is there anything else I want to inspect before we do that? Brass mirror, polished into a rudimentary mirror, which has been used for applying makeup. A vial containing a rudimentary perfume made from flowers and oil. Uh, okay, let's nick the key. And then let's book it. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Bye. Have fun. Sorry about that. Okay, we actually got here before him this time. This is the first time we've managed that. I wonder if you can, like, interrupt him. Oh, shit. What happens if he doesn't make it here? Wait, what happens if I die? <laughs> uh, mate? Whispers an inaudible prayer, hey? Bloop. <laughs> 